As people wanted to know more about the Bible course, as I said, now I'm in South Africa and hoping to give a lot of lectures on this subject. So this is why people really ask me more about the course. I'm not so familiar with them. So I will try to show you a list of important tables, which will show you what are the course and what they represent and where is the source of it and what is the purpose of it. So all of this you are going to see and the most important definitely is that a lot of indications that those are codes, Bible codes, to do with Messianic code as in many books is written especially the book called Atom, the people of the Nagorno, we bring a lot of sources which clearly indicates that the phenomena of the courts and Kimata, all the things, will be very strong before the coming of the Messiah. So let us see now table by table, a lot of tables, a lot of material, but important is to understand people want to know more about it. So let us see what you have in this table. So the first thing you have here, first meeting of the words, which are Messiah, Court, and the most important is that it will be distributed, as we said. So we have your Messiah, code Messiah, the code of Messiah will be distributed and the Messiah that is connected with the cause is the son of Joseph, Messiah son of Joseph. Now the date when the research of the code started is here, 5736, 1976. This was a time that Professor Elia Rips and Don Wisdom heard about the phenomena of the cause, and they started researching it. So you have it this year, Tavshi Lamed It was in 1976 when it started. Now what is really the Torah code based on? Skip of letter. So you have here the Hebrew word, Dilu, the skip of letters, which is basically the code, as we said, and you have here really a great development on this year, 2021, that it came out very strongly. And also it is interesting that important stage in the distributing of the cause was on 5775-2015. Yeah, and this was really when it was distributed by very famous publication, producer of, unfortunately, passed away. It was Pinlight, this was Mr. Shaw, which unfortunately, passed away, and he did great contribution to the Bible show from this year when the documentary came out. So Richard Shaw, you know, he was this one who really gave a very important push to the distribution of the code, which you have here. Yeah, will be distributed and the year that it was, and then the second of the documentary. Now let us see more tables. Also, very, very important, as the documentary was called Into, Dar Into Darkness, because the cause shed light of things which are going to be, to happen, and this is why the documentary was called End to Darkness, Kes Lachosher, and Kudim, and Rips definitely was very involved in this. And this clear, 
indications that it's considered with son of Joseph, what we saw before. Messianical, here you have the word, the Messiah, HaMashiach, unbelievable. If you think to yourself, what can be the chance that once in the Torah into darkness with Codin <laughs> and with son of Joseph and Rips and the Messiah, very, very statistical table. Let us see more. Okay, this is this unbelievable table in which the story is interesting as Professor Rips wanted to know whether the research of course in the Torah. So he saw Hecker Kodim. Then he was amazed to see that the really is all sentence which says Mishachakar Kodim. He who researches the cause, Zachar, has a great merit. And this fits very much, it was great Rabbi said, from a fisher, that's how Oyerbach many says, it's a great mitzvah to distribute it, it's a great merit. By the way, here's the ephod, ephod, which clear indications we showed that the ephod was similar to the Bible code. Also, through letters indicating what is going to be, as we know, the Ifo the Hebrew letters, and with the high priest at question, he went to the place to see the Ifo, and then he asked the question, and the Hebrew letter was shining with the answer, exactly like the Bible code. So, amazing sentence. Ibu researches Kodim Zacha, Kodim Kabbalah, of course, Basically, to do the Messiah, we have the word, or oh, Asod, this is the light of the secret, because this is our basic secret. And here you have the ears when the research started, Professor Rips, and also the one with some five, six, seven, three, six, which is 1976. Amazing. Then we have here the story when the document is started on the year 5775 in 2015 and by pin light yeah pin light and the, it was really the two years that it was really it came out in, in different editions but yeah 5775 2015 and you have 2016 interesting pin light minimal in the torah also indicated to conserve the ephod, and this was a pin light really distributed it, the code Torah, the Torah code. And amazing, the verse came here, which says the following, Yirael HaOlam, Aser Hashem, we show to the world the deeds of God. Unbelievable. Then, going more into it, so this is also End of Darkness, then I like the name of the documentary, to do with Messiah, definitely. And then you have amazing, you have here that this has to do with the time of Messiah, which is Ed ben Ishai, the son of Jesse, this time. And again, the beginning of the documentary, the second edition was 5776, 2016. Then, let us see more to do with this. And here we have also very, very interesting, important, really, idea about the course, which says the following. Once in the Torah, quod a Torah, the owner of the Torah, because one of the purposes of the Bible code, Torah code, it, too, it is the owner of God of the Torah, seeing how the Torah was the blueprint of creation. And most important, amazingly, ever twice son of Jesse, because to do Messianic God, son of Jesse, Benisha, Benisha, very small skips, enough to do with the cause. And again, you have the ear when the research of the code started, 1976, 536, it's unbelievable. Again, okay? strengthening the idea, 
By the way, it's a very significant table because it appears in one book, Genesis, in few chapters. Let us carry on and see something more exactly the same idea, but it's clear. You have owner of the Torah, with the Torah, and this is tracing the faith in God. And here you have the people who are involved in it, and you have a relic, yeah, because he is really did a lot. A, because it's, it's so interesting why I brought his name, why not Lisa, I mean, why not uh, uh, Professor Rips and uh, others? Because you have your unbelievable phenomena. You can see here, honor of the Torah, and you can see here the connection of Amada, the science, and Kabbalah. Yeah, have Kabbalah and Amada, science and Kabbalah, because very clear indication there's a phenomena of the codes, which you have the codes, yeah, a codim, I believe the codim, which helps bring the face to the world, right, and connecting science and Kabbalah, and this Professor Aralik, you say, Aralik coming next to you. This is really the year that the idea of the codes came was on 5772-2012. This was the time that we met with Richard Shaw, and the idea of the course came, came out, but briefly it took a few years until it came as a documentary. So unbelievable table also to show connection with science and Kabbalah through the course. Then you have something else very, very significant and interesting, and this is, you can see here, the thing is really years of redemption. So years of redemption also basically has to do with this phenomena, but it has to do much more with this. So let us go into other tables. And this one also had to do more with the Messiah, the coming of Messiah. And this one, which have to do with the codes. So you can you have here Sofen Mashiach, the code of the Messiah. So, as we said, Messianic code. Once it's once it comes with Vav, man full con- writing of the code, Sofen Mashiach. And amazing, this is unbelievable. Rips Elijah, Rips Eliyahu. <laughs> The smallest skip in the Torah of Rips and Yaw, smallest skips of the Torah of Kots of Messiah, Messianic Kot. What can be a better proof than the Kots of Messianic Kot? Then comes here the son of Jesse, definitely. Rips comes again. Very interesting. Was very involved. You have Matit Yaw here, maybe in the case to me, because they work together with Rips, yeah? And the purpose of the cause repentance. Then you have clear indication that this year that we are now hoping that the courts will really have important issue importance of strengthening the face of God. Aimuna, yeah, this is the purpose of the courts. So hoping that this year more and more the idea of the courts will come out and you have an interesting skip of this year with Tapshin Peral five seven 82, 12, 20, 22. And the face, here again you have indication to Ruben. Interesting. Ruben, Professor Aralik, we have a lot of it for the Torah course by his ribs together. In fact, we did a book together. So let us carry on. And what we see here is again connection with the sons of Joseph, the Messiah. Okay, so do more with this here. Not so much with the cause, but it's interesting that it all goes together. And this is also very interesting code, which fits with the idea, the Bible really says that in future, the world will see clearly the greatness of the Hebrew language, yeah? Because 
So every Yeruba Berur, they will see clearly, yeah, the hidden codes in the Torah. In the Torah, in my Torah, this God says, Rips comes here, the year 5736, and then you have, so then I explained what is the connection in Kesh Natai Amim, that it was the end of two years of Joseph in the prison, he came out, and it was the numerical value, I mean, not the numerical value, but the two years come to 5736, so clear indication connection with Joseph, but this is explain about it. Then you hear is the ear of the documentary, I think it was the second edition, 5776, which was uh, 1216. Then you have here, the beginning, when you started the research, again you see it clearly here coming. Then Again, clearly seeing that the code is Sofen Mashiach, the same code, and amazing is that people were involved. You have Duron, Duron Vizum, you had Elia Rips, what we saw before, and then you have what is really basically called Skip, Skip of Letter, unbelievable. What is the purpose of the code? The code, you have the word, to strengthen our face in the Torah, in God, this is face. Then, looking more, so this is what we saw already. And now what is the purpose of the code, which is Messianic code? And here you have the ribs, but you have more words. You have in the own ribs, right? And the purpose of it to strengthen the face in Torah from heaven. So here what you have the words are Messianic, the code, which starts on the, on the research. 5736, 1976, with Elia Rips with Doron. And the purpose is to strengthen the face, Aimona, in the Torah, in the Torah from heaven. Amazing, this is the purpose of the cause. Unbelievable. So, these are the tables you saw. You can go into it, as you were well going into it, to see they are very statistical, very important, and then going together with a lot of signs that we are very, very close to the time of Messiah, because as many quotes that I did indicates that we are very close to the time of Messiah. So it's together, all together, very important Bible code tables about what they are Bible codes.